man, I can see why this is their specialty. It's just so good. Welcome to Chopstick Travel, I'm Luke Martin and today I'm in the gastronomic capital of France, Lyon. I am here for one reason and one reason only and that is to eat. So today we are taking you to some legendary spots around the city for the best Lyonnaise cuisine, starting things off at a bucket list destination for any foodie, Les All de Lyon, Paul Bocuse. It's gonna be a great episode so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go eat some Lyonnaise food. So Les Halles de Lyon Paul Bocuse is a gourmet market known for having super high quality ingredients and it's kind of a one-stop shop for all kinds of Lyonnaise cuisine. You can see charcuterie shops, uh, cheese shops, all kinds of boulangeries and it's named after the legendary Michelin starred chef Paul Bocuse who was a local from Lyon. There's a big mural of him on the outside of the market. So we're just kind of walking around taking in all the sights of the beautiful food, foods here. Everything looks so so good so let's start eating. So if you are a meat, charcuterie, or cheese lover, this market is just heaven. There is so much selection. I've never seen so many cheeses in my life and so many different meats. So we went to one meat shop and one cheese shop to pick up two Lyonnaise specialties. I have them right here. The first is this uh, saucisson there. This is the Rosette de Lyon. It's a pork um, sausage and then thinly sliced and then over here we have Saint Marcelin cheese which is like a creamy cow's cheese. These are two of the uh, specialties of Lyon so looking forward to trying them out for the first time both. Let's try. Okay I'm gonna start with some of this Saint Marcelin cheese and kind of peel back the rind here and then get to that creamy interior. It is super creamy. Cow's cheese. I think it said it was like a 20 3% um, whatever that means 23% cheese let's try some of that oh that smells amazing mm, actually a very light cheese not strong whatsoever super creamy you get like kind of a sort of like hints of sour it's not a super complex cheese it's just kind of like basic kind of cream cheese just tasting let's chase it with a piece of the rosette That is awesome. Chunks of fat in there, completely melts in your mouth. You also kind of get that tartness from the cured meat. Oh, that is amazing. The Rosette de Leon. Look at that. You can see all the chunks of fat in there. Actually, those go perfectly together. Yum. I'm not a huge cheese guy, but luckily this isn't like a super extreme cheese. I, I'm more of like a charcuterie meat kind of guy, but uh, this isn't like overpowering like some Roquefort or blue cheese or something like that. This is really light flavor. Mm. Yeah, it's good. That was a nice little snack. We are purposefully trying to eat light here at Les Halles de Lyon because we have booked a bouchon for lunch today, which is a typical Lyonnaise bistro. They are known for serving super heavy food, so we're trying to eat light here. This place is an absolute food mecca. There is just so much good looking stuff in there. And when you're walking around, you might be noticing all these desserts that are red. And Lyon is famous for their pralines. So pralines are usually almonds, sometimes other nuts that are candy coated and colored red. So there are all kinds of different praline desserts in there. I bought a bag of just pralines by themselves. Also, I bought a praline tart and a praline brioche, which I have right here. It is 
quite huge to be honest look at that you can see all the little pralines there it looks like also maybe there's some hazelnuts in there as well and it's kind of like oozing at the side here i'm just gonna try to break off a chunk and try it this is something you must 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 try in leon anything with pralines super famous here mm. oh the pralines are good but what's even better is that brioche look at how many fluffy layers there are now it's super airy and the pralines are crunchy nutty you can taste the almonds it's quite sweet though hmm. look at how sticky and gooey that is on the other side definitely not supposed to do this but nobody's looking i'm just going to take a big chunk out of the side mm. super crunchy pralines oh a little bit too sweet for me i think Whew. all right time to try this little beauty the praline tart look at how red that is so vibrant they had all kinds of desserts in there with fresh berries um, chocolates all kinds of things leon just really has it all in terms of french pastries this is as good as it gets and french pastries are already so good anywhere in france but here in leon they're even better oh Oh, I love that tart pastry. It's got this kind of crumbly texture. This doesn't have like the crunchy pralines. It's more like caramelized, kind of gooey on the top. You can see just how glistening in the sun that is. Oh, it's beautiful. It looks like it would be like raspberries or something, but it's not, it's not fruity whatsoever. Also very sweet, almost like toffee. Yum, that's awesome. I like that better than the brioche. Yum. Oh. Mm. Oh, it's like sweet and the praline is like gooey texture. I feel like it's a little bit sweet for me, but it's really good after a meal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Bocuse was a legend, unfortunately. He has passed away. His story is incredible. You should read about it online. Basically, he was born and then he started his Michelin starred restaurant and then he also passed away all in the same house and it's just outside of Lyon unfortunately we won't be able to visit but you can eat there I would love to come back someday and try it out but really legendary chef cooked for presidents and royalty really really amazing story read about it online how's the praline tart actually now it's not too sweet after I had like a couple bites mm. I really like the tart mm -hmm. it's good You've got to check this place out whenever you're in Lyon. It's just incredible. We just had a little sample of what's on offer here at Les Halles de Lyon, Paul Bocuse, because we've got a reservation at one of Lyon's mini bouchons. Next, let's go. So before we head for lunch, I just wanted to show you this beautiful cathedral here. It's St. Jean Baptiste Cathedral, and you can get an incredible view from this square here, but where you can get an even better view is from the window right up there, which is actually our Airbnb. I'm gonna show you now, so let's go upstairs. I'll show you this incredible view we have from the Airbnb. So this is our Airbnb window. There's like a little ledge you can sit on and you've got this incredible view of the Cathedral Saint Jean Baptiste and the square, the plaza here with all the people enjoying the view. But I have to say this view is even better than down there. I'll leave a little link down below for this Airbnb. Quite very reasonable price actually. And just such a cool place to chill and hang out and then take in the incredible views of Lyon. Wow, it's just amazing. This is just the living room of the Airbnb and this is not sponsored whatsoever. I just wanted to show you guys how cool this is. Just check out that view. Wow.
So for lunch today, we've come to the Café Comptoir Abel. It's the oldest bouchon in Lyon. It's been around since 1928. So a bouchon is a typical Lyonnais uh, bistro. So think like Parisian bistro, but much more uh, working class casual with extremely heavy food, like an emphasis on heavy, heavy food. So this is the oldest bouchon in Lyon since 1928. We've ordered up uh, their most famous dish, probably Lyon's most famous dish. It's called quenelle. It takes uh, about 25 minutes to cook because it's quite an intensive dish to cook, but we also ordered up this salad right here. This is the Lyonnais salad. So it's a beautiful uh, salad with egg and uh, looks like bacon and some croutons on there as well. That looks amazing. So let's dig into this. Check out this beautiful runny egg yolk here too with the Lyonnais salad. Grab a piece of bacon, everything. Let's try that. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that's my kind of salad. Big, huge chunks of crispy bacon in there, creamy egg yolk, and they've got like a beautiful vinaigrette on it, which gives it a nice little acidity. Chase that with a crouton. Super crunchy. Yum. So you can see already, very heavy food. It's a salad, but there's a ton of fried bacon in there. So our quenelle has arrived. This is, as I said, the most famous in all of Lyonnais cuisine and the most typical dish to order any bouchon. So this is it right here. It is a pike dumpling. So pike is a type of fish and it's a creamed fish. And then it's um, kind of poached in a broth and then served with a bechamel sauce with mushrooms. You can see that fluffy uh, <laughs> pike fish, which is sometimes mixed with like breadcrumbs to give it kind of this bouncy, kind of bready texture. It's gonna be my first time trying it. You must try this if you come to Leon. It's the most famous dish. Mm. Mm. It is very, very uh, delicate, soft, completely melts in your mouth. It's almost got like the texture of like a sponge cake or something. And then you get that creamy, kind of milky bechamel sauce on top of it. And you can see too, there's all kinds of little pieces of mushrooms in there as well. I'm not sure I can necessarily taste any of the, the pike. Like I don't get any um, fish flavor whatsoever. It's all about that texture, super delicate. Mm. Mm. It soaks up that bechamel sauce. And to my Thai girlfriend's delight, they're serving this with rice. <laughs> <laughs> which you don't actually get a whole ton of here in uh, France, so it's kind of nice to see rice after having bread for the last week. So let's try some of this uh, quenelle with rice. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's actually very light flavor. It's not like super, super flavorful whatsoever. The, the quenelle almost has no flavor because it's very overpowered by the creamy bechamel sauce. Nice little hints of mushroom in there as well, a little bit earthy. Mm. The rice helps soak up the rest of that sauce too. Mm. Yep, you gotta try this in Lyon. The texture of this kame is like so soft and Luke was right, I, I also um, don't taste the pike fish neither, but overall, I think I like it for some reason. And if you come here to Lyon, you have to try this, the most famous dish of Lyon. That's what I said. <laughs> I copy you. <laughs> First time in a week that I got a chance to try rice. Mmm, that's good. I'm happy. Look at that beautiful And we're sitting outside, but the inside of this restaurant is incredibly beautiful. I just checked it out uh, since 1928, I think it was. And it looks like they haven't changed anything on the interior. All wood, very beautiful restaurant. Oh, oh my God, that's amazing. Beautiful, beautiful vanilla flavor. Oh, and every meal in France should end with a coffee. What a good bouchon experience.
Oh, I love the dessert here in Lyon. It's so good. And I don't understand, I don't know why, but for me, after I had like a really heavy meal, to end the meal you have, even you're full, but to chase it with the dessert, to end it with dessert, it's, it's so good. It's like complete your meal and complete your day. Yeah. Whew, that was some heavy food at the Bouchon. So we're gonna do a little bit of sightseeing, walk along the river here. There are actually two rivers that uh, converge here in Lyon, the Saône and the Rhône. And we're making our way up to the top of the hill. I don't know if you can see it up there, but there's the Basilica Notre Dame. We're going to walk over there through Old Lyon and then take a, a funicular up to the top and show you guys that. Try to burn off some calories before our dinner tonight. We just took the funicular up from Old Lyon, just a three minute ride, and we've come now to the Basilica Notre Dame. Let's go inside and take a look. around the world that is the most beautiful uh, basilica church cathedral i've ever seen the detail in there is just mind-blowing you could sit there for hours and just stare at the walls and you would find new things to look at and new stories it's incredible the mosaics were so detailed covered in gold it's massive you have to have to see this in leon it's incredible Around the backside of the Basilica Notre Dame, you can find a really stunning view over Lyon. It's a huge city, the third biggest in France. And there's only like three skyscrapers and the rest of the buildings are all old. Highly recommend coming up here and checking out the Basilica Notre Dame. So cool and incredible views over Lyon. So now we're gonna make our way back down and start heading towards dinner tonight at a famous restaurant called Brasserie Georges. So we've come tonight to Brasserie Georges. This is one of the most famous restaurants in all of Lyon. It's actually an Alsatian restaurant. So from Alsace, uh, another region of France bordering. But it's definitely a Lyon institution since 1836, almost 200 years old. And the restaurant is just absolutely massive. There is, I read a line, something like 700 uh, seats available for uh, guests in here, just absolutely huge. It's a brasserie, which is kind of like a brewery, and they brew their own beer here. So I actually ordered up the Weiss beer, the uh, Brasserie Georges Weiss beer, and you can see it's served with a little bowl of pretzel. So you can see the Alsatian, the Germanic influence here at Brasserie Georges. We ordered up some Alsatian food and some typical French food. Just such a historic restaurant. Really, really cool atmosphere. Let's try the Weiss beer. Oh, super smooth actually. We got here at 7 p.m. It's already kind of busy, but this place can fill up. I mean, 700 seats in here. This can be a party in here. So our appetizer has arrived. I feel like this is the most quintessential French food that everybody always thinks of. This is the escargot, the snails. These are snails from Bordeaux. And this is kind of cool. They give you this little escargot tool. I guess it's just to kind of clutch it. I don't know. I'm going to flip it over and spill out all the sauce. That is a, a parsley and a 
butter sauce. I don't know if I'm using this tool right. Okay, there we go, I got it. And now I'll go in with this little pick, grab the escargot. This is gonna be my first time actually ever trying this, but you've gotta try it whenever you're in France. Everybody talks about it. Look at that. Mm. Served nice and hot. Ooh, those are super meaty, beautiful butter, parsley, garlic. Definitely a little bit unique. Might not be for everybody, but I think the parsley sauce kind of masks the snail flavor. Pretty good. Kind of a bouncy, chewy texture. Not a bad appetizer. Oh wow. It's not a taste that I expect before. Like I see in pictures and whoever go to France eat it, I expect it's gonna be like salty and buttery, but turns out it's, it's really good. It's soft and it's not too salty. It's good, I like it. All right, my main dish has arrived. And as I mentioned earlier, it's an Alsatian restaurant. So you can see this is like German food almost. We have the specialty of Rosary George. It's their sauerkraut. And I've ordered it up with a pork loin, Frankfurter, and then also a uh, pork belly. And then over here, we've got some potatoes. And it actually came with extra on the side here, which is kept warm. Uh, with some candles and another little sausage here as well. This is just so, so beautiful. This is the specialty of Brasserie George. It's their sauerkraut, so I'm super excited to try it out. Not Lyonnaise food, but very famous here at Brasserie George, so let's try it. I'm just gonna try some of the sauerkraut as is. Mm. Mm. Phenomenal. Super sour, still crisp and crunchy. Pickled cabbage. I feel like you're gonna taste some black pepper in there as well. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I love how sour it is. So everything is meant to be eaten with the sauerkraut. I'm gonna try a piece of this pork belly here. Cut that, grab some sauerkraut. A little bit kind of sweet pork actually. Contrast the super sour sauerkraut. I love that sauerkraut. It's got this crisp crunch to it. It's just so good. They gave me all this and then another plate of it here. All right, let's try my Frankfurter. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. Yeah, it feels like I've been transported to Munich, Germany or something. And of course, it's gotta go with all this beer. Damn, that's good. So it's served with some mustard as well. I'm gonna put a little bit on this uh, pork loin here. And that looks like a beautiful yellow mustard. Another huge bite, feeling a little bit barbaric, but honestly, this is kind of barbarian food. Mm. You definitely get a kick from that mustard. Kind of goes right up your nose. So it goes perfectly with that uh, pork loin. It tastes like ham. Everything's just amazing with the sauerkraut though. Man, I can see why this is their specialty. It's just so good. Mm. Let's give this other sausage a try. Much shorter, girthier. No discrimination of sausages. Oh, and look at this right now. The room just got dark and I'm guessing they're gonna play like a song. It must be somebody's birthday. They have this machine that they turn and turn and it plays the music. I don't know if you can hear it. Should I tell them it's Ming's birthday? Let's <laughs> try the sauce. Mm. Tastes like a smoked sausage. Really good. Okay, dessert is served. This is their signature dessert too. It's called Baked Alaska. It's a meringue dessert. Just came out with a little sparkler on top of it and it smells very strongly of orange liqueur. So they have orange liqueur on it and he poured a little bit of extra at the end. And I'm, I'm not sure it's like sponge cake. I think it's sponge cake, but it might also be like uh, some jellies in there or something. Maybe some ice cream. I'm not sure, let's try it. Mm. You can taste the, the orange liqueur. Super strong orange flavor. It's not super sweet either. 
and ma'am. I didn't realize you were ordering an entire cake for us. Look at the size of this portion. I got half and Mink got half right after that huge meal. Mm. Yeah. I think it's ice cream on the inside too. Yum. Actually, it's beautiful orange flavor. That orange liqueur. Baked Alaska. Comment down below if you have any idea why it's called that. It's caught me off guard because I didn't know it's gonna have liquor in it. So I just goes like this. Chip. And then I thought that kind of like I don't know, syrup or something, and I take a big bite and then I was like, hmm. It's got me there. It's so bitter. I mean, I'm not a big fan of liquor. Sorry. <laughs> Personally, as a lover of liquor, I actually quite enjoy it. The inside is like ice cream. The outside is meringue. They bake it in an oven, so it gets a little bit like kind of toasted on the outside, but it doesn't melt the ice cream on the inside. And then they cover it in that orange liquor, which is quite a strong flavor. So I can see that Mink uh, wouldn't like this if, if you don't like the kind of strong alcoholic flavor. But I'm an alcoholic. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. Lyon is a gastronomic capital of not only France, not only Europe, but the world. This is seriously a food-loving city. It should be on everyone's bucket list if you're a food lover like me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't checked out our previous videos from France, make sure to check them out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Chopstick Travel. Bye.